extent would you use Sybase when you're developing new applications? I mean, I think what will happen over at the moment, Cyclo is very much a standalone offering that sits alongside the, the Sybase acquisition. So you know, if, if those applications do what you need to do or you're familiar with that technology, so I think people who are part of a Cyclo customer base shouldn't, shouldn't be afraid of the acquisition. Let's right. We have a good, good track record of supporting that. Um, I personally think what will happen is that the, the, the um, yeah, Sybase on my platform, Gateway, Cyclo, and any other acquisitions that will, will, will be merged into something that will be called the SAP mobile platform. Um, and then offered it as offerings. So that what is the Cyclo you know, app development tool will become part of this SAP mobile platform um, and we'll move away from talking about Sybase and or Cyclo or Gateway. Yeah, I think uh, having worked on Cyclo and SUP project, uh, I think both SUP and uh, Cyclo got complementary uh, strengths. So, for example, in case of Cyclo, they got a very good uh, application um, set. So these applications are already integrated with SAP backend systems. So all that is delivered as part of the application. And another strength is Cyclo is more of a configuration-based UI. So that means if you've got one iOS device, one Android device, and one Windows mobile device, you just configure it once in Cyclo platform, and then the same uh, solution is delivered across three different operating systems. Now, that is not the case in Sybase because you have to develop a native application for all three platforms. And on the other side, SUP got really strong database sync engine and, and they are really strong in mobility for a long, long time. So I think there are uh, definitely complementary strengths in these two solutions. And as per uh, SAP's roadmap, they're trying to come up with a com uh, combined platform which takes the best of both the solutions and deliver a comprehensive platform. And is that new SAP mobile platform only relevant to SAP application clients or is it relevant in a broader market context? The way SAP is marketing it is uh, relevant to any uh, company who is using not only SAP even other uh, applications as well because they are um, marketing this as a platform which can work with any uh, back-end system so they will talk generic uh, uh, standards-based uh, SOAP web services or REST-based web services or even database connectors can be used to make it work with the uh, SAP platform. So they want to see it as a platform and not only a SAP specific uh, platform. So that's the way they're marketing it and platform is definitely capable of doing that. Yeah. I, I, I support that view. I think it's the it's that double strategy from SAP that says, you know, again, I guess for the last five years where they support standards first and then proprietary stuff second and then add content. Um, so if you have it back end, you will get productive quicker than if you're integrating to a, a third party system, but no slower than any other system would integrate to that third party system. So it's a win, hopefully a win on both sides that you can you get to SAP stuff quicker. Um, there'll be content, there'll be accelerators. Um, so it's kind of a, hopefully a dual strategy and they're doing that with it's not just mobile, they're doing that with HANA um, and they're doing it with cloud um, as well to make it, it's generic, but if it happens to be talking to an SAP system, it'll know some stuff and there'll be pre-integration points that it will know about that it won't know about to a third party. I think SAP's strategy is to uh, market the platform as generic platforms. It shouldn't be specific to SAP. Uh, because they provide integrators with other backend systems like generic SOAP based or REST based uh, web services uh, adapters would be provided and even the database uh, adapters are provided so you can pretty much use the platform with any other backend system but I think the content or the applications which are delivered by SAP would be uh, primarily focused on SAP backend because there is always some component of the application which goes in the backend and I think that is where the content would be delivered for SAP customers, but not for others. But there is no reason they can't use the platform uh, to deliver their mobile solutions. Mm -hmm.